Hi, I'm Mark Cullen. We're in my backyard. Well, in my garden. And we're feeding birds with Jody Allaire, my good friend from Bird Studies Canada, biologist, educator. Hi, Jody. Welcome back. Thanks, Mark. Great Thanks to have having. you here. So we're going to talk about bird feeding. And first of all, I've got this wonderful scoop, which actually, Jody, is a bird feeder. Now, what do you think of that idea? This is a Mark's Choice product. It's pretty clever, Mark. Yeah. Well, what it's else are you going to say? You're at my place. You're my <laughs> guest. <laughs> so yeah. this, this little baby, that's going to attract a lot of birds, mm. and uh, I really love it. But the first question, of course, about bird feeding is, when do we bird? When do we feed the birds in our yard, Jody? In your opinion? Yeah, you know, you could feed birds all, all year round. You know, I think most people feed birds in the fall through the winter months. But yep. you can uh, feed year round, and uh, and if you do, you know, there are certain things uh, you know you just need to remember when you're when you're feeding birds to create a bird friendly yard. Now, I have a couple of different bird feed blends here, Jody. Yeah. Uh, one is a premium blend with pure seed. And the other is very similar, but it has berries and nuts in it. Which one would you prefer to use, and how are they different? Yeah, I think I think both work equally well. I think uh, if there are certain birds that would prefer to have berries in their diet, and especially times of year when berries are in short supply, like the winter, yeah. um, you know, having some yeah. berries in the mix would probably be a good a good factor. But adding a diversity of types of seeds yeah. is a great way to add. Uh, to get a diversity of bird species. So one bird feeder with the regular the regular premium bird seed in it and another with the nuts and the berries might make sure. sense yep. in the same yard. Yep. But just name a berry bird for me. Yeah, so uh, let's say, you know, cedar waxwing or hey, let's why don't we say uh, American robin or eastern bluebirds? You know, they will why not? berries uh, berries play a big part of their diet especially in the winter months. Oh, uh, okay. All right. And bluebirds, right. Uh, you know, if you want to get bluebirds at your feeder, if you're lucky enough to have them around, Providing something like mealworms or providing things like berries would be a great way to get those types of birds. Jody, where do we put a bird feeder? Yeah, that's a really good, that's really the crux of it. You know, you want to create a safe feeding environment for birds. So there's a few factors that I would put into play. One is to have a wonderful naturalized garden, um, to have lots of habitat for birds for winter and for nesting. Uh, you got to watch out for things like window collisions with birds, especially in your backyard. So okay. we have a rule called the 330 rule. So you can have a feeder within three feet of a window or beyond. 30 feet of a window. So and let me translate. That's a meter or 10 meters, right? There you go. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. could be the 110 rule if you're if you're if, if you're, you're in metric, metric. If you're yeah. in metric, which most people under 50 are. Okay. <laughs> just, well, just so you know. This is important. Uh, uh. So I, that's a very good rule. It is. I would keep a close eye on your windows to make sure you don't have any windows that are killing killing birds and you can treat okay. windows to do that. You could do other things as well. I would clean your feeders regularly. Um, especially if they get heavy use, even every week or so, clean those feeders. Very, imp it's very important. I use a, a vinegar rinse solution as well if it's a heavily soiled feeder. And uh, and there are other things. Creating good habitat. If you have cats, keeping your cats inside to reduce predation to birds at feeders very important. So if you have a lot of cats around, you know you need to reconsider perhaps how you have your feeders set up. But these are all important considerations for a bird friendly yard. So if you have a cat that needs to get out from time to time, is it better to let it out at night and then bring it in the morning? Would that save up some birds? Uh, probably not that many. Um, no. What I would do okay. is you could have a catio or have a cat on a leash and carefully monitor it. And there's, uh, there are compromises there that you could, you could do that. Do bells make a difference? They don't. They don't. All right. Suet. I've got some Mark's Choice mm. suet. This has got mealworms in it. Mm. So it's got insects in it. Is that useful in any particular way for birds? Yeah, suet, I really like suet in the winter months and you know, when it's really cold and that fat, that high nutrient fat is really good for a lot of birds. Yep. Woodpeckers, but you know, you also get blackbirds will use suet and uh, especially if you have a mealworm component, you could start getting those things like bluebirds into your yards, uh, feeding on the insects in the suet. But not so. the suet, do they, do they, would they actually go to my suet? Uh, if, they're, if they're hungry. Yeah, they could, but uh, yeah. you know, they would prefer more insects and berries. But right. uh, a diversity right. of stuff in Sioux is always good. Jody Allaire, Bird Studies Canada, Birds, Birds Canada? BirdsCanada.org. BirdsCanada.org, MarkCullen.org for more details, including the complete lineup of Mark's Choice products, including the feeders and feed. Thanks for joining us.